a, a conversation that Maddie and I had the, the several weeks ago was about uh, a chart that you had put up in the. That's the chart. That's the, the flow chart. The, the, the flow chart <laughs> that's in the that you had, you had put up in the, you had put up in the school, and, and that people were adding to, and, and different ideas were were showing up on the chart. Um, and the way I understand the conversation is that um, you notice when you when you looked at the at the ed plan, and I don't think this was just students, but I think as as a as an educational community, you said, well, there's lots of holes in here. There's 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 a lot of things that aren't said. Um, which is yes, that's that's true by design, and then took the initiative of saying, well, let's how would we fill those in? What can other other districts uh, and schools take from your experience and say, well, that's interesting. I think we can do that, and not say, well, that's only possible in the Gulf Islands. I think it's uh, what you were saying about ideas being transferable. I think. They are, all of them are, in a way, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to make every single thing we're talking about applicable to anybody who is inspired and driven to accomplish it. And I think what's great about our island is, is it's, like a, it's like a catalyst, it's like, it's something, it's we're, we might drive it and we might, because of where we live in our, in our life, we might have some of the ideas and are able to you know work in this kind of grassroots situation but there's no reason with the right team why everybody shouldn't be able to prosper from these ideas getting up close and finding out what their passion is and witnessing the sparks fly mm -hmm. and then supporting those sparks to keep flying it's just a I think it just starts at the beginning of just helping them to get close to questions about what they're really interested in they come in what is an IDS. It's where you design your own course and your own program and you study it as like a class. So that's your class. You go to your class that you've designed yourself to study something that you're personally interested in. Yeah. How do you structure a school that has a huge number of students pursuing individual areas of interest? When a school is structured, and the structure is the difficult thing, uh, if the structure is organized in a way that the learning can happen, beautiful, but it's difficult to do that. 600 people, 35 staff, the number of rooms, the size, how many chairs, tables, things you need. So the structure is tricky, but, but uh, IDSs are structured in one way, which is fantastic, but I think group learning is key. And uh -huh. There's the time where you yeah. need to go deep, yeah. Yeah. and there's also the times when you need to be in, in a very social, collaborative kind of a situation, uh -huh. because great learning happens there yeah. as well. Like it's, it's, it's not 600 kids off doing their own thing. No, yeah. we're, we're not working all. on it. I think it's definitely a progress. Like it, there needs to be more development in the balance in this hybrid learning, this balance between answering questions and ask, asking questions and, and between you know independent, flexible learning and between collaborative and group learning. We've run into different situations where kids have a whole whack of time that they've got and they just don't really want to do anything because they don't know what to do. And so I thought that it would be better if uh, in previous grades to have a, a sort of system where you go very, very broad, very thin over everything to give kids a sort of idea about what's out there. I thought it would be cool to have a sort of system where um, in the beginning of the year you're given a, a great big sort of test deal where you get lists of all these different areas uh, you could go into, all the different jobs or different sort of categories of how to live your life. And you'd give, um, you'd give this to the kids and the kids would give uh, a paragraph and write a paragraph about what this is about and whether they'd like to learn about it or not. And if the kid knew that he knew what this sort of subject was, and he knew that he didn't want to do it, then he wouldn't have to do it. He wouldn't have to learn about it at all. If you didn't know what it was, and you still didn't want to do it, you'd still have to take it because you got to know at least a little bit about what it is, because you might actually enjoy it. And you just don't know because you've never tried it.